What's up, friends? It's me, your host, the Dead Pirates, Faith Buns. It's my friend, my Instant Pot. Today, we're gonna make some yogurt. And I found this really cool way of making yogurt, and then I was gonna make this a lot sooner, and this was like supposed to come out like last week. And then, um, yeah, I realized my Instant Pot, or my version of this Instant Pot, the Pioneer Woman version, yeah, it doesn't have a yogurt button. There's no yogurt button, which you're supposed to have to make yogurt. But I went looking, and I went looking for quite a while, which is why this took even longer to come out. And we found that you can do it without the yogurt button. So here is how you do it without the yogurt button, but I'll include some instructions for if you have the yogurt button, just in case you happen, I don't know, to watch this. And I don't even know if any of you that watch me have an Instant Pot, if this even matters. But these things are like, honestly, the best, best cooking utensil. If you're only gonna get one, get this. All right, now anyways, we're gonna have to go ahead and uh, go back so y'all can watch that. Until then, I'm gonna sit here eating. All right, my friends, so first thing is you want a half gallon of milk, and I kind of realized I don't have exactly half a gallon, so I did my best to pour it out and make that happen. I, I did have to emergency drink some because it wasn't going to fit in the cup, and I didn't know how to deal with that. Cool, so now after you've poured your half gallon in there, you're going to put on the lid. You're going to turn it over to venting because you don't want it actually sealing and accidentally blowing up. I don't know what happened here. I have absolutely no idea how this happened, but whatever. Anyways, plug it in. You're going to turn it on to keep warm for 45 minutes, and we're going to leave it alone. And like magic, it's been 45 minutes. We're going to take the lid off, turn it on, saute, and we're going to try to raise it up to 180 degrees. Now also, while that's going, we're going to get an ice bath ready. Partially because we're lazy, partially because this is late at night, partially because this just works and I don't have to justify it. Anyways, we need it to come down in temperature after we get it to the right temperature to kill all, you know, the icky stuff in the milk that could exist. I mean, it shouldn't exist, but just in case. You just want to make sure. So anyways, you're going to go ahead and kill it. And by kill it, I mean we're going to raise it to 180 degrees because that is the temperature that kills bacteria in milk. I don't know, but that is how that works. Okay, but really quickly here, on the off chance that anybody actually decides to do this because I watched my video, it is extremely important that you keep things within the temperature ranges we're talking about here. So making sure that you get it up to about 180, 185, that is super duper important because you want to make sure that you kill anything because we're going to put live active cultures from the yogurt into it. But also making sure that it gets down to 110, which we're about to do, is super duper important so you don't kill the active cultures. Now that we got it up to temperature, we're going to go ahead and use both oven mitts because it's really, really hot and put it in our lovely ice bath, which melted pretty much instantly because it's really, really hot. And we're going to constantly check our temperature because, again, we want to make sure this stays in the right temperature range. And I just resorted to more ice because I want it to cool down a little faster. I am excited for yogurt. And just like before, we're just going to keep stirring and waiting for that temperature to drop down to 110 so that it is a safe point for us to add our yogurt in. And like I said before, but just in case, that is super, super duper important. Like that is the most important step of all of this is temperature control. Because if it is too hot and you try to put that yogurt in, you're going to kill all that good stuff that you want the yogurt to give you. Yeah. All right, now that we're there, I'm going to take it back and make sure you wipe it off because it's really not good for the inside of your Instant Pot where you put it to get wet. I'm also gonna warn you that the bottom of that was still hot. Even though the top wasn't carried, the bottom was. But now we're gonna add, I added four tablespoons of yogurt. Uh, the recipe I was looking at said that you could add up to a quarter, like cup, a quarter cup of yogurt, and I might suggest doing that because mine was like rather 
thin yogurt by the end of the process. Not that I'm upset with it, but the more actual yogurt you add, the better it's thickening it. So maybe a little more yogurt next time. Now we're going to go ahead and seal it up. Again, we're going to leave it vented and I'm literally going to wrap a towel around it. This is the point where if you have a yogurt button, you can go ahead and just hit the yogurt button and I guess it does something. I don't know exactly what it does, but it's supposed to do the same thing that wrapping this towel around it does, I guess. So anyways, when I woke up the next morning and I took the lid off, it actually worked. I made yogurt. I was so excited. I can't believe it worked. So if you would prefer like a fruit on the bottom or, you know, your yummies on the bottom, whatever, you can definitely put them on the bottom here first. I wanted to put my yogurt on the top because I knew that I was just going to mix everything together and that it really wouldn't matter. But basically, I thought it was also going to only make enough to fill three of these and it weighed, made six of these plus a little extra. And I was like, oh my gosh, it made definitely more yogurt than I expected but it's really good so I don't think it'll be sticking around too long. Time for flavors. We're making honey vanilla. And yeah, I tried to use water to get my honey vanilla, my honey uh, softened because it's real honey and that did not work. So I put it in the microwave and then I had to put it in an ice bath because it was way too hot. But anyways, I added two teaspoons of vanilla and I'd say like four tablespoons of honey. And it was honestly a bit much. It's a little sweet, but it's really, really tasty. And I was really pleased with that one. I don't know. I just wanted one at least that was simple and nice. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is wash our blueberries, obviously. We're gonna turn on a pan and we're gonna put four tablespoons of butter into it. Woo woo, and then we're going to cut up, I ended up cutting up a full cup of blueberries even though there's only a half cup there. You'll see in a minute. I totally cut up another half cup. I don't know what I was thinking. I was like, that'll be enough. That's totally not enough blueberries. All right, so now we're gonna add a quarter cup of water and then we're gonna add a half cup of white sugar and a half cup of brown sugar. That one took a second, but we did it. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and let those all melt down, mix them good in together. And we're also gonna cover it with a lid just so that it can, it can really cook down those blueberries and make it into a good syrupy sauce that'll be nice to eat in a yogurt. Okay, so what you're, you're watching for is it to get that kind of uh, candy coating of the spoon and also that thickness to it. So there where it coats the spoon and stays on it, you know you've got your, your candy syrup essentially. And then I put like three or four scoops in there pretty much until the jar was full and it couldn't take anymore. And I shook it all up. Okay, so after I got inspired for this one, I can resist. So we take four tablespoons of butter. We're going to take, I ended up taking a cup of each sugar. So a cup of white, a cup of brown sugar, and a quarter cup of Kahlua, and a quarter cup of coffee. We have pour over coffee, but whatever you have, you have. So anyways, I stirred that up and cooked that up for quite some time. It took a lot of effort to actually get it to caramelize and work because of course alcohol does not cook completely the same but anyways once that worked i put it in there and i shook it up and that is honestly my favorite yogurt unexpectedly
This one is easy. You're going to take whatever generic syrup you have and some imitation maple flavor. And we're going to use about a teaspoon of the imitation maple. You're going to mix that directly into your syrup. And then you're just going to shake that into your yogurt. It's nice and easy. It tastes delicious. I really, honestly, saves you money. It saves you money because maple syrup is expensive. I know it's really good. And I'm sorry, Canada, but it's expensive. Okay, but really, I can resist this one. You're going to need a mixer or a food processor, whatever you use, and one cup of your yogurt, plain, regular, whatever, normal stuff, none of the flavored. Then you're going to need one eight ounce brick of cream cheese. I pre cut it up a little bit, just it helps it get mixed down easier, faster, and uh, more evenly. Doesn't break off weird, you know. I got cake batter flavor to use in place of vanilla, and we used three teaspoons of that. And then we used three tablespoons of honey. And yeah, I totally accidentally dropped the wrong lid in there. And in good me fashion, you turn it on as far high as you can and make a big mess, and then realize you have to turn it down just a little bit. And then, yeah, we'll keep turning it back up gradually like we're supposed to be doing until it is pretty much lumpless. I'm going to be real with you. It take a lot. It take a lot. And you could probably do it. It tastes just as good with little lumps of cream cheese, though. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Sweet. Now that that's good and mixed up, we're going to go ahead and take it into something we can freeze. And then it says to add three tablespoons of sprinkles. But I say this is your life, your sprinkle cake. You do what you want to, boo-boo. I honestly added like a good majority of that container. And I have absolutely no regrets. It tastes so good. It was worth it. Plus, there's sprinkles. They're little. Isn't that, that like how that works? Little snacks don't count for as much. thought that was how that works. You see the little snack bags, right? Am I right? And then, yeah, just for good measure and extra prettiness, I covered it in extra sprinkles. But then you want to put it in the freezer for about six hours just to make sure, like, it's super frozen. Alrighty, welcome back. So, now you've seen we made six different flavors of yogurt. And honestly, I thought that was pretty creative. You even got, like, a frozen yogurt kind of ice cream out of that. Like I said on that whole thing, though, three tablespoons of sprinkles, I don't think that's going to cut it. So just, um go crazy have fun it's your life and sprinkles are not that much sugar that's a lie but it doesn't count because they're little I tried okay anyways the point is is that yogurt is super good for you it's super healthy but honestly to get good yogurt is super expensive and I think that's annoying. And I like to make things myself because I always think they taste better when you make them at home. So that's why I wanted to do this one. And I guess I just thought it was a fun place to go and like challenge. I haven't done something like this before. So if it failed, um, I had still, I had still genuinely considered putting it out. So enjoy that. If it failed, you still might have seen it. But it didn't fail. That's cool. I mean, it's kind of the consistency of Yopi. So I definitely would suggest using more yogurt than I did. I think that's the problem. People also said if you use flavored yogurt, it didn't work. I completely disagree with that. It totally worked. I'm probably going to kick myself because there's probably more I wanted to say here. I'm really distracted because it took me like a full 24 hours to make yogurt, y'all. 24 freaking hours of yogurt. I mean, and then I made other stuff because dinner, but... Hmm, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for coming to check this out, and I hope you guys uh, find a way to make some yogurt of your own. Have some fun. Jet Pirate Space Buns, signing off. Uh -huh.